I teach from an iPad and an Apple TV. However, something I really want to make clear is I don't present like this. I'm presenting to a group. I have a specific message to tell you. That's why this is static. I do what they do in my classroom, and I'll show you that when we get into our little lesson in a second, okay? So I don't present to them. I have little clips, little tidbits that I might have for them, but I try not to have a, uh, uh, you know, me speaking at the front as the primary learning for that session. It, it doesn't seem to work for me anyway. So with that, I use what we call the AirPlay button on our screen. So I'm gonna have everybody on their iPad right now, and I'm gonna have you swipe from the very bottom of your screen, and I'm gonna do this with you to kind of show this to you as well. And I'm just gonna flip over to my screen here. So I'm on my iPad now. If you flip from the very bottom with one finger and swipe up, you should see this control panel appear. Does everyone see that happen? If I click away, it disappears. Again, from the very bottom, you have to be like off the screen. Put your finger like under the iPad if you need to and just glide it up. And you've pulled up what we call the control panel. Really good opportunity for us to take a look around here at all the very quick, convenient options I have. I can be in any app doing anything and pull this control panel up. I can control the volume. I can skip a song if I'm listening to music or play or pause. If I, for me, it would be an audio book. I listen to an audio book on the way up. On my iPhone, same control panel exists. I can put it in airplane mode, by Wi-Fi, on and off, Bluetooth, do not disturb mode. So I probably should uh, click that on while I'm presenting. So I'll do that. Uh, turn your sound off and you can even lock the screen so it doesn't flip when you move it. Okay, there's your lock screen button here. Okay. A few others, your contrast over here. I've got contrast. Down at the bottom, I've got a timer and I can even jump to my camera. So very handy if I wanna be walking around the room. Check this out, folks. I have a portable document camera in my hand at all times in the classroom. So I could be walking around I could either take a film, like a clip, I could record this right now, and I could share this out with my students in any method I want. So I could share this back or watch them doing their work. I could do a bunch of different things just with this camera, or I could just snap some photos. So I could come around and I could, wow, this is great work you've done over here. Nice to be done. Excellent. So you can see here the power of using your iPad uh, just by having it in your hands, okay? Now, how am I walking around wirelessly is by, again, in that control center, I'm mirroring my screen using the iP uh, sorry, AirPlay button, okay? You can do this with Apple TV, if you have an Apple TV in your school, or you can do it using an app called Reflector on your computer. So I'm using Reflector to actually AirPlay my screen to my computer right here. So that screen is actually on my computer right now, okay? So if, does anyone have a projector and a computer in the classroom? Does everyone? So that's probably the ideal option. I've installed an app on my computer called Reflector. I don't have to do anything to my iPad, okay? It can be done with PC, and it's called Reflector. There's also another option called Air Server. Okay, the prices are similar. They do the same thing, but sometimes the prices swap, like flip-flop. So whichever one's cheaper, go for it. I've used Reflector. Uh, I talked to Logan, who was in this morning to help get me set up. He uses Air Server. So, you know, it really doesn't matter which one. Probably the cheapest one's the best one. I believe they both give you a trial for like two weeks or something. So try it out before you buy it. And if you like it, uh, it's a great opportunity. Again, where do I install Reflector? Where do I install it? Computer. computer, not on the iPad. So you can't find it in the iTunes or the Apple Store, okay, or the App Store. It's actually, you have to go to their website on your computer and you can buy it. Right now it says $12.99 for, um, for Reflector. Yes, absolutely, and um, just so you know, in my classroom, I actually, um, I actually use Apple TV and I would suggest that if you don't have a computer in your room, if you don't have a computer in your room, Apple TV is cheaper, right? 99 bucks. But if you have a, TV or a computer in your room and it's already hooked up to a projector, then air service cheaper, right? 12 bucks. 
So you have to kind of decide what's best for you. My class doesn't have a computer, so I only use my iPad and an Apple TV, okay? So I'm only using Reflector today simply because I couldn't get my Apple TV up there, okay? I'm, and just to kind of show you, it doesn't matter which one you use, you can still use FaceTime and you could project it. So I'm using Reflector and I could project the FaceTime. Um, I tried calling my wife, I think she knows what I'm trying to do, so she's not gonna pick up. Okay, because it's Saturday and she has both kids, two kids under two at home. So she's probably there in her PJs and doesn't want to join us for this call. Um, but you, you get the idea. So there's some, I, there's options for you. So simply by air playing my iPad, and again, how I display it is by hitting whatever, if it's Apple TV, it'll say Apple TV here, and then I mirror on. If you do that right now, you'll, Sorry, you might not see an AirPlay button. Do you not see one? The reason you don't see an Apple TV button is because I'm on a different network than you, and so is my, my computer, okay? If there's an Apple TV in the room on the same network as you, it'll appear, okay? So that's why you're not seeing that button right now, okay? If you were on the same network, you would be able to access my computer to display your screen.